got going on. Talked to my buddy Matt Featherly, and uh, we devised a plan. We were going to come out and get a little evening hunt in. We didn't have anything going on, and it rained all day. Matt was planning on hunting the whole day and got rained out. So I came in here last night, and I saw a big tom with about six hens come down in here. And um, an area they're not usually always in. So I threw out the ground blind this morning when it was raining, and um, it cleared up, got sunny, it's nice weather right now. So we jumped out in this ground blind, it's about 5.30 right now. It was about 7, 7.30 when they came through here and spent a lot of time feeding last night. So uh, hopefully something comes in. Stay with us, I think we're gonna have some fun. What do you think, Matt? Oh yeah. Yesterday, these birds came down here. They were down in here at 7.30. And we're a little after 7.30 now. It was overcast yesterday. So there's a chance they could have been in, in here earlier. And they've been running a little late today, so let's hope that's what's happening. But uh, if we don't see anything here in the next hour, we're going to be skunked for the afternoon. So stay with us. And We'll see how the next hour goes.
sitting here for a long time. Didn't really hear much. Then all of a sudden we got a lone head coming down the hill. Then all of a sudden the hen right behind us started going on. Before I know it, big old Tom come rushing us right on in about <coughs> I think five yards. <laughs> Just laid a Montec G5 right in his boiler maker. So wound up, like it was all I could do, like to hold him off from shooting to like get a better view of that bird. <laughs> I'm still shaking. Like, I'm, I've never had him that coming that close before. <laughs> dude, that's what ground blinds are all about. I mean, some nights you sit here, nothing happens, but when that happens, dude, it's freaking so awesome. <laughs> He went 20 yards from where you hit him. Yeah. Piled up. He's got a nice beard on him too. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I can tell you it's a good thick one. I couldn't tell how long it was for sure, but and it's not like I was looking at it right now. No. <laughs> oh, I can't stop shaking. <laughs> Well, I called Matt up today and uh, I'd seen he posted on Facebook he was going to go out this morning but it's raining so hard. I was out scouting some birds last night and this morning. I saw this guy come down here and strut with uh, six hens last night and uh, called Matt and said, hey, let's go out and go after that big gobbler. I saw him out there with six hens just taking his time. I knew he was a boss. He had a big old white head last night. Matt came in here. <coughs> we waited. And he wasn't on time. He was a little late. Of course, the weather was a little different. But, man, we waited. Sure enough, he came right around the corner with his hands. One of his hands was so puffed up, she looked like a cake. <laughs> Matt just smacked this bird hard. It was all I could do to get him to wait and put the camera on him. <laughs> <laughs> jacked up, man. Well, hey, Arn. Appreciate it a lot, my friend. Oh, no problem, man. <laughs> it's a blast. Half thousand. Matt Featherly, Warren Jensen, Tangled Guy, smacking these birds down, dude. <laughs>